Hi, my name is Dr. Russell Betts. I'm the Chief Scientist here at Go Chemist. And today's video is entitled Salt Pool Myth. Now, what do we mean by that? Well, a lot of people, if you talk to them about their saltwater pool, they insist that they don't have any chlorine in their pool, that their, their pool is chlorine-free, chemical-free, and much safer. Quite the opposite is true. Your saltwater pool has a chlorine generator on it, and that chlorine generator is continuously making pool chlorine to keep your pool free of contaminants and at least swimmable. Let's take a look at the chemistry behind a, a normal swimming pool, chlorinated pool, and a saltwater pool. In a normal swimming pool, this is the business end. Hypochloric, hypochlorous acid. Hypochlorous acid is what makes your pool swimmable. It keeps it free of contaminants. This is the business end. This is the molecule that you have to add to keep your pool at least free of contamination. A saltwater pool makes this for you by electrolysis. And here's the reaction. Your salt water, NaCl, table salt, reacts with water in an electric current. Yes, you have to pass electric current through this material to get the formation of chlorine gas, Cl2. But you're also forming, in that same reaction, hydrogen gas and sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide is a very dangerous chemical. It's very corrosive. These two things will react together, right here, to form sodium chloride and hypochlorous acid. That's exactly what your saltwater pool is doing. You really are not chlorine free. You're actually making the same amount of chlorine that a normal pool would have in it. You're just making it by electrolysis with salt water. So it's exactly the same thing. So you still need to add conditioners to your pool. And because you're making a very strong base, sodium hydroxide, you have to monitor your pH constantly and all the time. So that's the gist, that's the chemistry behind a salt water pool. Now it goes by many names. Salt chlorinator, salt cell, salt generators, or salt water pools. It goes by many different names. Now a lot of times when companies put out products and they keep changing the name, it's because they're trying to hide something from you. These are all the same things and they all make this. Hypochlorous acid, this is the same thing you're adding when you're adding pool bleach to your pool. These are not chlorine free pools. They are just a more convenient way to put chlorine into your pool that you don't have to mess with it too much. All the chemicals that go into a chlorine pool go into a salt water pool. All the health hazards that are involved in a chlorine pool are involved in your salt water pool. A salt water pool is in fact a traditional backyard swimming pool. Keep in mind that the CDC, the Center for Disease Control, has on average 4,700 people a year reporting themselves to the hospital or medical professionals for chlorine pool related injuries or discomforts or problems. That's a huge number considering the amount of people that swim every day and the amount of people in this country that actually have pools or access to pools. Not everyone can do that. That number is relatively huge. This is also the number of people that found it necessary to report their problem. They just didn't deal with it on their own. That is a huge number. And it just spells out how dangerous the traditional backyard chlorinated swimming pool is and why you, you are probably considering in your mind right now a biosanitizer pool is probably a better option for you and your family. Now again, my name is Dr. Russell Betts. I am the Chief Scientist here at Go Chemless, and I hope that you found this video informative and maybe enlightened you on what a saltwater pool really is. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please watch the, subs the other videos that are posted on our website, and uh, please enjoy your backyard swimming pool with a biosanitizer. Thank you.